Retro Arch on your Wii U is finally possible again with newer releases of Aroma Custom Firmware. Before now, you could only set up Retro Arch on the previous Wii U homebrew environment, Tiramisu. However, there is now a working Retro Arch port for Aroma, which is the most up to date custom firmware for your Wii U. So if not having RetroArch was a reason you did not upgrade to Aroma, well, click the video in the top right and you can get yourself Aroma and then come back to this guide because I'm going to show you how to set up RetroArch on your Wii U. In order to get started, I'll have a link for this GBA temp page in the description for the announcement post by Plog. You're welcome to read the whole thing, but basically they're going over on how RetroArch is now supported on Aroma and some of the limitations. And they even posted a video of RetroArch working in action. So shout out to Ploggy and then also shout out to Saucy for bringing this page to my attention. But basically they have a full download for us and all we have to do is click on this link here. And before we do that, I just wanna highlight, don't mix Tiramisu RetroArch cores with Aroma ones and don't attempt to update your cores through RetroArch. And if you already have a RetroArch folder, they suggest to rename it so that you can place the newly downloaded RetroArch folder on your SD card with no problems, no combining. But you can click on this Mediafire link. It'll take you to this page where you can download the Aroma cores. So it's an all-in-one download. It is a zip file, so you will need an extraction software like WinRAR or 7-Zip. But while we let that download, I will also have a link to the cheats a whole library of cheats for different retro games here. I have one downloaded, but there's tons to choose from. If you're gonna go find one, just click on your system, and then I suggest doing Control F and looking up the game. So looking up Super Mario, there's 17 options, but you can kind of scroll through Super Mario Advance right here, and then you can just download the raw file in the top right. But once everything is downloaded and you have everything you want, but I'm gonna minimize my browser, so my downloads on the left, my SD card I use to mod my Wii U on the right, it's pretty full of stuff. First thing to do is open up the Aroma Cores zip file. Just highlight both of those and drag them onto the root of your SD card. And then I'll just meet you when it's transferred. And there we go, it is all transferred on. We can back out and delete the zip file. We don't need that anymore. So that is all we have to do to set up RetroArch, but now we need to set up our game. So go ahead and go into the RetroArch folder. And here we're gonna right click and create a new folder and just call it ROMs. Go inside and here is where you can place a folder for the specific consoles. So I have a few here, I'm gonna drag on. So you just keep all of your ROMs separated by a folder for the console and the files can usually be zip files or the actual game files as well. For consoles like PS1 where you could get BIOS, you can go back and create a new folder and call it BIOS here. And then if you have those, you can place them in that folder. So that's really all you have to do to set up your games. And if you have cheats, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Create another new folder, call it cheats. And all you do is place your cheats inside. So I have those two cheats right there. So as you can tell, a pretty easy setup. As long as you have your ROMs on there, you are good to go. But now we can eject our SD card and head over to the Wii U. So once you're on your Wii U, go and find RetroArch. It should be on your main menu and you can just load it up. And then you should see this pop up. So as you can see in the bottom left, my Wii U gamepad and my Wiimote connected, you can use either controllers. But if you've used RetroArch before, I'm sure you will know how to load your games and play cheats and everything, but I'll just go through it for you guys if you have not set it up yet. So the first way to play your games is you just go to load content and then you need to navigate through your SD card from this folder, go down to RetroArch and then your ROMs folder, press the game you want to play. If I want to play Ridge Racer, we can load it up. Just go to load archive and find the core related to your game. So mine is PlayStation. So I'll load up the PS PCSX and just like that. It does say no BIOS found, but I did not add one onto my SD card. So we're loading up right now. But there you go, you can see that we are now playing our game. And I'm currently using my gamepad to select and go through. I'm gonna go back and I'll show you another way to load your games that is a little bit more convenient. So instead of going to load content right away, if we go down to import content, go to scan directory and then go through your SD card, just the same way we just did, go to your RetroArch, go down to your ROMs folder, and we will just press A on scan this directory. And it will scan all your ROMs. May take a little bit, depending how many games you have in there and how big they are. 
and scanning is finished so now we can go back all the way to the retroarch menu and you should see after the explore page initializes you can go down to your emulators that automatically detect games for that system so it makes it a little bit more convenient so let's load up the game and i'll even show you how to set a cheat so just run it select the core i'll just use the first one again if some of them don't work as well you can always try a different core as well now i'm going to run it and there we go but if you want to play your cheats go into the main menu and go down to cheats you can just select load cheat file and then you got to navigate to your retroarch and then the cheat file folder sorry that we made and then you can select it there then they should pop up just toggle them on or off and you should be good to go apply changes if you want to switch games all you got to do is go and select a different one there you go, you can switch just like that. Now on that note, I'm gonna quit RetroArch. And now that we have everything set up on RetroArch, everything is good to go, your games, you can play it with your gamepad. I personally haven't tried other controllers like the Switch Pro or anything that you can connect with Blue Pair. But if you have, let me know in the comments which ones work and which ones don't for you. If instead of RetroArch, you would like games on the home screen like this, like Mario Kart Super Circuit right here, click on the video popping up and I'll show you how to do it over there with UUVCI. Have fun playing your games on RetroArch. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>